Hi, welcome back to the channel. We are talking about Zapier in the most popular social media platform on the planet, Facebook, and how we can utilize those two tools to streamline processes in your business and keep your Facebook page updated. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel. And if you're on YouTube, click the bell icon so you'll be notified of future updates. All right, so we are inside my Zapier account. I want to go over and start generating some ideas for you to use Facebook and how to leverage Facebook with other platforms so that way you can keep your social media presence active even when maybe you aren't as active making videos or short posts uh, yourself. So a few things that I do, if you already have a marketing company, this is a great one for you to use uh, with your website because it does a few things for you. One, you connect your website to your Facebook profile and two, you constantly have that feed of information coming from your blog or a feed on your website to your social media profile. So people click on that and go to your website that is a positive signal, not only to Facebook, but also to Google that people are visiting your site and reading and digesting your content. So one that I set up is I usually have a blog that I write about every two weeks or so. And while this is loading, what we do is we take the RSS feed or the blog feed inside of your WordPress or Duda or Wix account, uh, wherever you host your website, and we take that and every single time a new blog post is written, we automatically get that out to Facebook. So the setup for this is pretty easy. You do have to find your feed URL. So find out where, you, if you have a website or marketing company, ask them, they'll know where to find this. Otherwise, you should be able to find this in your WordPress uh, area, or if you have Duda, it's pretty easy to find. And really the only thing you need to do is get the URL, and you need to uh, use this down here, which always comes up as recommended because you don't want to change the content. If you want to get crazy, go ahead. But this is a really easy way to set it up, test the trigger. As, as you can see, we got one of our latest blog posts here. And then the next thing we do, you'll hit the little plus icon and you'll create a page post in Facebook. Again, connect your account if it's not already connected and Put the text in here, put whatever you want to put in here. Um, I like to just put the title and try to get people to comment or so I might change something to comments and feed, feedback are much appreciated. Put a couple hashtags in there just to be a little bit more relevant. And that is pretty much it. The link that we use is right here. As you can see, I did this about a month ago. We'll retest it just to make sure everything still works. And boom, that's it. So now we have our blog posts automatically going to Facebook. So as you think about this and you're starting to think of ideas now, all of a sudden, okay, well, if it goes to Facebook, why doesn't it go to LinkedIn? Why doesn't it go to Twitter? Why doesn't it go somewhere else online like Pinterest? So this really starts opening up the ideas for you so you can create more automations and really syndicate your content and do less work. That's the key. So a couple other things I use this for. One that seems to have gained a lot of popularity is we take new Google My Business reviews and we post them on Facebook. So again, we're taking content from one area and we are taking it and putting it in another area so that way more people can see it. Because if you're not searching on Google, you can't see our five-star reviews on Google or on Facebook, I'm sorry. So the trigger here is to pull in a new review. Now, a caveat to this, this is a three-step zap and it also uses one of Zapier's tools, Filter. So this is a little bit different for those of you who have never used this before. But all I use this for is to you kind of create like, uh, think of a tree that has branches, right? These are, a filter is brand, you can branch the content out different ways based on certain criteria. So all we do is because this is gonna go on a social media platform, we wanna make sure that 
First of all, only our five-star reviews are going to social media and only the ones with comments because let's face it, uh, a social media review or five-star Google review going on Facebook with no comments is boring. Nobody's going to like that or do anything with that. So right here, you can see we, uh, we have chose the number rating. And again, this is pretty easy. You look at the data, Zapier gives you all this data in a nice, easy to read, clean format. So you take the number rating five, text match exactly five, and then all we make sure is that the comment, which is right here, exists. Continue. It's gonna say that's all good. Then we're gonna go down to create page post. Uh, let me scroll down here. And this is where, again, after you connect your account, you get to choose the page you want it to go to and what you want the post to say. So again, this is how we, with our HVAC business, constantly had five great five-star reviews, constantly going to Facebook, which also went to Twitter and went to LinkedIn and so on and so forth. Once you set this stuff up, you can keep your pages active very quickly without having to do a lot of work. Now imagine taking an extra 20 or 30 minutes, not daily, but maybe weekly, not having to spend as much time on your social media accounts because they are active and constantly constantly being updated with good high quality content. And that's really what we tried to establish and what I help establish with clients.